Today, the church honors two young women from North Africa who died in one of the early persecutions of the church. Their names, which appear to this day in the Roman canon or first Eucharistic prayer of the Mass, are Perpetua and Felicity. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki. St. Perpetua was a young mother, and St. Felicity was pregnant when they were apprehended by the authorities of their time and thrown into jail where they awaited execution. It was against the law to execute a pregnant woman, and so the government officials waited until Felicity gave birth and hoped that in the meantime, both could be persuaded to renounce their Christian faith. They held fast, and after Felicity had given birth, they were taken to the amphitheater where wild animals were set loose on them and they were finally killed by the sword. Stories of persecution and martyrdom continue in our own time. In fact, Pope Francis has said, quote, the season of martyrs is not over. We can truly say that the church has more martyrs today than she had in the early centuries. The church has a multitude of men and women who are slandered, persecuted, and killed in hatred of Jesus, in hatred of the faith. They are our brothers and sisters who are suffering today in this age of martyrs. This must give us food for thought, end quote. We might think today, we might think of how many people today, young mothers and families, stand up for life in a world that looks down upon large families, at best making fun of them, at worst penalizing them. Let's pray today with Saints Perpetua and Felicity that all our brothers and sisters who are suffering for the faith and for life may be strengthened by the awareness that their commitment will one day be rewarded with eternal life in heaven. Amen.